this next sensor or set of sensors you've probably seen on NHRA drag racing a lot of times if you look at the top fuel cars you'll see the cables routed back to the headers and you'll see the actual junction box where all the cables run into flopping in the wind at 320 miles an hour right which is the EGT sensors exhaust gas temperature sensors right yeah you'll see those located obviously in the exhaust tubes on the top fuel cars on on a variety of vehicles the alcohol cars pro mod cars uh, sportsman racers everyone uh, you know that's running a supercharged or turbocharged application would like to run these normally aspirated vehicles will run them as well too in conjunction with air fuel sensors but what this is this is critical this gives us the obviously by its name the exhaust the temperature of the exhaust gases we can from that determine whether it's rich, whether it's lean, whether it's burning in the pipe, it's all helpful in determining your tune-up. Yeah, that, what's interesting about these sensors is a lot of times people will discuss what's my EGT temperature and is it right? And it's really particular to each, each engine, like you said, where the exhaust or where the uh, 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 firing cycle takes place and where the temperature and the heat is, is really dependent upon the engine itself, right? Mm -hmm, certainly, yeah. And going back, we spoke earlier about having problems with ring seal and things like that. It's very easy to see, first off, if we compromise the ring seal uh, because the EGT will start to show an uh, erratic reading and also in vehicles that were, were heavily fueled, like in the top fuel or the funny cars, uh, you'll see where it drops the cylinder due to tune-up related action because it'll drop the cylinder uh, and it'll c start cooling almost immediately. But you do see these sensors in a lot of vehicles. Like you said, it can be normally aspirated 890 cars. You see them in everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's critical, again, because the more we can look at what's actually going on in our engine, we have a better idea and we're better able to tune our vehicles.